Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. And welcome back to Nerd News Today. And it's time for a very exciting unboxing for us. Yes, as you can see, we have Series 3 of the Avatar The Last Airbender Collection from Diamond Select. We've previously looked at Series 1 and Series 2, as well as one of these special limited editions, and we've been really digging this line. Oh, yeah. So, so far in the series, we've seen Aang, we've mm -hmm. seen Katara, we've seen Zuko, we've seen Azula, mm -hmm. and now, continuing out the Team Avatar, as well as one of the bad guys now, we got some real good ones today. We have Toph and Fire Lord Ozai. And in particular, this is Ozai from the finale of mm -hmm. Avatar. This is him with his final battle with Aang, so that's really cool. Good yeah, choice. you can tell from the hair. Oh, yeah, that's referring to the baby <laughs> right there, yeah. Now we're looking at the Diamond Direct versions of these figures. If you want to order these, you can pick them up from Big Bad Toy Store using our affiliate link in the description below. So real quickly, as you can see, we have the nice pretty window box over here for the packaging. We have the Diamond Select side panels, so you can see what's going on. And of course, the sunroof, because we love a good sunroof. I mean, the back of the box isn't the most exciting. It just shows who's in this wave, and it's only two, so that's pretty great. It also shows Series 1 and Series 2. With that said, let's get them out of the boxes. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're back, and they're out of the packages. And these are some interesting looking figures, so I know we're both big fans of Toph. We've been yes. really anticipating her, especially. Mm -hmm. Ozai was a bit of a surprise to come this early, I feel like. Yeah, I, I gotta admit, while I enjoy getting the villains, I really want an Iroh. <laughs> He's got to be next. I mean, uh, yeah. Sokka and Iroh got to be the next wave. Have okay. to be. But here is Toph, here is Ozai, and they look pretty good. I think they look pretty good to their counterparts on yeah. the actual animated series. But I'd say, I think Ozai is way more accurate than Toph is. I think he is too, but I also have to say, he looks so flat. I know that's really weird because you can see all the definition and muscle, but at the same time, when you look at him from the side profile, and also if you saw him in the packaging a little bit more clearly, something about the way his arms are, he just looks like he's just very this there's something cartoonish about it yeah that's for sure, yeah i mean yes of course it's a cartoon but i don't know there's just some depth missing from it I he's guess. not like he's not like a giant pro wrestler either well i so wouldn't expect looking, him to they weren't looking for him i guess to be like giant buff kind of guy like pro wrestling toy beast so i guess this is meant to be more like a more realistic fit looking person as opposed to like a muscly character i know it's just that when we have the reveal in season three you know when we have that moment where he takes his robe off and it's all you know like he's He's not necessarily pro wrestler buff, but he's def they definitely give the impression that he is buff. Yeah. So I guess I was a little bit surprised because you could see all the definition. He clearly has a great diet, you know, and he works out. You know, it's pretty even. But at the same time, he's also just a lot flatter than I than I expected. I know that's a weird thing to say, but it's true. And then there's Toph. And then there's Toph. She looks great, but at the same time, she also looks a little off. Yeah, like Toph was the one I was really anticipating, and also the one that I've been a little bit oh about because mm -hmm. uh, I really I really like it, but this is goth Toph. It's, it's totally goth Toph here. <laughs> it's goth Toph with too big a head. Yeah, her, and that's pretty much the biggest thing that has bugged me about this figure is that her head is so big, and it might not even be that her head is out of scale. We'll, we'll check it out later with other Avatar figures, but mm -hmm. her hair is also enormous, so it just makes it look like she's anatomically incorrect. And if you're gonna actually measure somebody up anatomically speaking. Uh, and a normal adult would be eight heads high. Yeah. Uh, and a child her age probably be like four to five heads, maybe. I guess. Um, roughly. It's a weird thing. I think that's the right measurement for it. But she's like three heads, <laughs> three and a half heads high. Like, I don't think Ozai's a perfect eight either, but no. he's definitely closer to like seven or something. That's style. That's stylized. But yeah. her head's just so big compared to the rest of her body because the rest yeah. of her body is so slim. She looks so tiny. She and really does. I kind of love that because she is tiny and... But yeah, her head just makes it look like she's going to topple over or something. Yeah. But can we just talk about the height very, very quickly? Look at that. Yeah. I love that. Don't fall, Toph. You're, you're an earthbender, damn it. Don't fall. I mean, look at that. That height is just... I love that they did that. Yeah. I love that they made this work so well. Well, they couldn't have her be the same height as Ozai. That would no, of course not. Wrong. <laughs> no, of course not. But they could have had her be a little bit taller so that she was closer in size to, say, Aang and Katara. Uh, you know? And I guess that's why she is so undersized is because they had to, like, have... They Ozai have... in the scale. The adults be in scale, too. Yeah, and so I absolutely love her height. You can see how tiny she is. It's just that big old head of hers. Yeah. I mean, the eyes are accurate, too. The eyes are awesome, but because her skin tone is really, really pale, it's a little... Yeah, I see where it's I mean, it looks... goth tough. 
Let's bring in Aang, just so you guys can see. So, I mean, look at that. Size-wise, scales up just fine. Yeah. You can see what I mean. Like, he is so much pinker than she is. Like, she just has not been going out in the sun at all. Well, I mean, she is blind, and she's been hanging around the, you know, the caves with the badger moles. That's fair. Yeah, that's true. But I also kind of like that. I like the fact that they've been, that they're differentiating. Because Aang's up in the air. He'd get more, you know, he spends more time in the sun. He spends a lot more time on the ground today, though. Yes, he is. And what's cool is they're both bare feet, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do love that. Real quick. Nah, I was kind of hoping that they might show Toph's feet just being a little funky in some way. <laughs> Not necessarily, like, filthy, just I would have loved to have seen a little bit of roughness or something. Did you smell them? Maybe they smell they bad. They don't smell that. You, you smell them. Can you smell what the Toph is cooking? Ah, yes, I can. So I guess we're going to talk about accessories then, aren't we? <laughs> no, but now I really want a boulder figure. Well, we're halfway there because I guess we'll start with the best accessory ever in an Avatar figure. The yeah. belt! She has her championship belt from when she was wrestling. Or not really wrestling, but, you know, from when she was earthbending. Yeah, earthbending. It was, like, the same difference, though. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> it does actually look like it clasps together. Let's see. Uh, kind of... Sort of. Kind of does. You gotta force it, which I don't like doing. Yeah, you gotta be careful like, with it. This is, like, very firm, this plastic here. So I wouldn't recommend doing it, but, you know, at the very least, she could just have it around her arm or something. Yeah, which is pretty great. So all of our figures come with a bunch of different sets of hands. In my case, uh, Toph has... Four normal hands doing different things, plus the two fists you already see on her. And she has two different earthbending hands, one for each hand. This one's got, like, some little Love pebbles. That. This one's got some more, like, quartzy-looking stuff. Yeah, they're really nice Oh, hands. that's really cool. These are great. And the texture of these are awesome! Because they feel a little bit rough. Because, you know, they're supposed to be earth. So they're not super smooth. But, oh my god, I love it! Um, Ozai comes with a pair of fists that he has. He comes with, um... You know, four regular hands. And then he comes with fire bolty hand. You know, whatever we're going to call this. You know, lava burst. And then he comes with electricity hand. And again, like the texture to these are so different from that because these are translucents. Yeah. So they're a much smoother texture. And I, I love it. Oh my god, that looks so cool. I'm afraid to put Ozai's hands on because I'm pretty sure he's going to topple over from well, how uneven this is. Because this is a heavy... Well, we can try, but speaking of topping over, uh, we should add that each of them do come with a base, mm -hmm. which is really handy. So I'm actually going to put mine on her base right now, because all the figures do have the peg holes. Yeah, I'm going to... So gonna... that should keep her... Yep, that should keep her up. Oh. And in addition to that, they also each come with this nice little arm here, so that you can actually uh, use it either for their different effects, or you can put it in their back or on their feet as well. Yeah. I think it fits in there, too. Uh, Definitely fits like... in the back. I'm not sure about the feet. Yeah, I think the feet are probably about the same. So as we seen before, like, you could have Aang in the air. Uh, yeah. So Toph wouldn't really necessarily be in the air all the time. No, she doesn't like the air. Remember, exactly. she can't feel anything. But yeah, you can basically just attach it onto the base and put your fingers on. So we can actually try it with Ozai later. But <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he'll, he'll handle that. There's electricity fist. Yeah, it's looking good so far. Uh -huh, that's... Ooh, he is stiff out the box. Yeah, that's one thing i got to say about all these figures. Is we haven't even discussed articulation. It's your Oof. standard diamond articulation. But these in particular are very, very, very stiff out the box. And we've noticed with the other Avatar team figures, the kids in specific... Because they're so small, I, for whatever reason, I guess the paint just gets really stuck in mm -hmm. those joints. So, you know, I'm struggling to even move her elbows here. Yeah, she's so thin. Yeah, that's also th the other thing, too, is because their joints are so thin. I really recommend if you want to do any posing, heat them up first. Yeah, do be, not do what we're doing. Yeah, be very careful with them. But check out Ozai. Yeah, that looks really good. Look at that, man. That actually looks very dope. And he's balanced really good in that base, too. So these are the, the bases that do come with them. We yeah. should add that Diamond also does sell their own separate bases. You can buy these in packs of 10. Yeah. So we have we have these two just in case we need yeah, them. Yeah, these are great bases. Yeah, they're all good bases. She also has this awesome effect here. So all the other characters have had, like, their big earthbending effects that have been, like, different waves of energy or whatever. But Top is just doing a landslide ahead of him, which is so cool and cartoon accurate. I know. Oh, my God. That's a weird thing to hug. I know it is, but it just it feels so cool. Ozai comes with an effect, but... I'm going to be honest, I'm not exactly sure how this works. So he comes with this. It's this really awesome fire blasty looking thing. It comes with this little base, I guess, and it fits in here perfectly, right? But then what do you use it for? You know, I thought you could put it on his foot or something, but then it's just on one foot and he topples over. Yeah. So I thought maybe we can pose him on this in the air and put it on one foot. It doesn't really look good. And then I thought maybe... This gets put onto here, and then you could attach it in some other way. It doesn't work. It, it doesn't fit. Yeah, it's fit. too loose. It doesn't it, actually fit. Yeah. It's a little too wide for it. So. so we're a little confused as to what this one is. Which is unfortunate, because that's like the coolest looking effect. But it is also like enormous. So yeah. I think you're probably right. I think it is meant to be for the foot. It's just there's only one. 
So it's kind of weird. Or, I mean... Because he does blast off at one point. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the only other thing you could do is just have him do this, and it's just like he had a beam burrito before his battle. <laughs> Which, Which I can't remember. Like, did he did did he fly like this too? Or was it just out of his feet though? I like, could have sworn it was out of his feet. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm gonna leave it here just because why the heck not? It helps counterbalance him. But yeah, it's it's a weird thing. So yeah, if anybody can... knows how to use this thing, let us know. Yeah, because as you can tell, we're just winging it. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the one thing I wish they would do is put some kind of instructions in there. Yeah. Because you know, I saw actually one of the sculptors, uh, one of the designers, Eamon Donahue, he posted up something on his Facebook page showing people how to actually use those effects. Yeah. And I wouldn't have known how to do them if I didn't see his Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So so that's one area of serious improvement that could be done. Really just the only thing. I mean, they could just yeah. put that on the back of the package. Just take a photo of them using it and problem solved. That's all. Yeah, it's pretty quick and easy. Now, we should have, by the way, there is one big thing that we didn't talk about yet. And that would be that we're looking at the Diamond Direct version. So if you go to your local Walgreens where you can find a lot of the DST mm -hmm. figures, you'll find the basic versions of these toys, which are a little bit cheaper and mm -hmm. come with a lot less accessories. You will not get all the hands. You won't get the belt. You won't get the, especially the giant effects. And I don't think you get this no. cool thing. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the, the direct versions. We're going to have links for those, of course, place you can buy them. And just so we can talk about it real quick, too, let's show off the articulation and how problematic it is for these smaller kid figures. Yeah. So, you know, her head does move left and right. It's ball jointed, but a little <laughs> stiff. Ozai's hair gets in his way, but he's got some good movement there, actually. Shoulders are moving pretty nicely as well. Tough uh, also has elbows that can move, but they're so thin that I don't really recommend it. <laughs> Even Ozai's are kind of thin. Yeah. Um, because, it, like, his bicep looks really weird compared to his forearm. It does. Yeah, his forearm looks very emaciated. Yeah, so... <laughs> What the heck, Ozai? Hands have some good articulation, too. But yeah, the waist, um, it does move on top. I think yours moves, too, just probably very stiff. He's it looks like it's stiff. very, very stiff. Yeah, I'm not forcing that. Uh, and the legs, you know, despite Toph having this thing in her way, this loincloth, still have pretty good... Yeah, they, they can still both <laughs> practice their side kicks. And uh, yeah, they have the thigh joint. They have double jointed knees, which is cool. So, I mean, really, you oh, can get, God, like... he's so stiff, though. If you wanted to get, like, in those deep... Earth bending poses, like, you can do it. Uh, just, you know, it'll, hopefully you do it better than we just put it here, but... Yep, there we go. I don't know what Ozai's doing, but he's just, like, balancing everything. <laughs> he's the true Avatar. <laughs> that's only fire. That's not other elements. So he can't be. Out of his mouth. Now you've seen the figures, but how do they stack up against the other Avatar figures? So let's bring in Katara. You've already Ooh. seen Aang, so let's bring Katara now. Ah, I love the height. Actually, I'm going to put her on a base as well, since I brought them out here, and since she Toph's already on a base... Let's put her in a base that they're on equal yeah. footing. Yeah, again, I love that they have a difference in um, skin tone. I absolutely love that because it helps show, you know, the different nations. Otherwise, you know, the rest of these, they fit in very nicely. Yeah, let's bring Aang out. Bring, bring out Nang. Now the Aang gang is complete. Why does it look like he's holding on to Ozai's pants like he's... Because he is. Daddy, can you help me? Because he is. And now the true winner of Avatar, Momo. <laughs> Momo. So that's our look at Toph and Fire Lord Ozai from the Avatar The Last Airbender by Diamond Select. If you want to order these, you can check out our Amazon affiliate links or our link to Big Bad Toy Store in the description below. Otherwise, really great figures. We like yeah. them a lot. A few weird oddities, but that's mm -hmm. Diamond figure. You know, they're not exactly a Mafex figure, so for the price that there are, you know, <laughs> no, they, they totally scratch the itch. This is These are great figures. You know, we could have gotten... Could have been like the ones they first made in the cartoon was originally on. I never saw those. They were bad. I'm pretty sure they were. They but... were bad. These are really great figures, you know, um, for all the little quirks that we find here and there. These are fantastic. And I mean, I don't care what the, what this effect is used for. This is really awesome. I do. I mean, I care. <laughs> yes, I care. But at the same time, it's still really cool. Get out of my way. I had Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I'm Andrea. And I'm Matthew. We'll see you here next time on Nerd News Today for some more action figure reviews and everything else we do here. Ayah!